Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're going to dive into the game Pandemic. Yes, classic I know. This version, titled Pandemic Scripted Setup by Johnny Quinteros. All links available in the description below so that you can easily find, navigate, and download and add this one to your collection. It is a community made mod, so it is available in the Steam Workshop if you want to use this one for your next game night. So stay tuned as we go in and dive and find out what elements are done for you, what's actually scripted, and then what the players will need to manage, maintain, and control on their own. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back. So we're going to dive into Pandemic on Tabletop Simulator, and I'm going to show you for this version of Pandemic what is done for you, how to go through and set up a game for however many players for this fully cooperative version. So let's take a quick peek at all the elements on the table. Again, you've got the main play board. You've got the different disease cubes. You've got a discard bin up here. You've got a rule book. You'll need to pull it out as needed. You've got your research stations and the four player positions right down here. And then far off to the right of the table <laughs> is the setup table. So this is what you're going to use to kind of um, dive in and, and set everything up. They do have the expansions available for you over here. We're not going to address that in this video. So um, stay tuned for possibly an update. But to begin, as always, make sure that all players take their seat by selecting their name in the upper right hand corner and then choosing the color that they want. Be mindful that the color you choose has no bearing on the actual color or role that you'll uh, potentially be assigned. So when you're ready, go ahead and just click the nice button up top that says setup. Then it's going to go ahead and draw out the cards that are necessary to begin play. It adds a research station to Atlanta and adds the one, two, and three cubes to the destinations as required. Next, you're going to choose how many players are in the game. For this particular one, we are only two players, so we would select that. What it's going to do is it's going to then deal out the number of cards in a two player game. Each player gets four. Hmm, it looks like it misdealt. Keep that in mind that. You may need to grab and move some cards either into your hand or into your play area, however you see fit. So it'll just deal out from left to right for one, two, or sorry, for two, three, and four players. So keep that in mind. Next, you're going to need to select your roles. So coming over here to the setup area, go ahead and select your roles. Pressing the R key will allow you to kind of shuffle those cards and then one at a time grab them pass them to the player and there you have it you've got the role that has been selected so once you've done that once you've got your role make sure you also select the corresponding uh, card or sorry token i am the researcher i'm going to grab the researcher token and place it over here in atlanta now here's where the game gets a little bit finicky because you know, it's hard to kind of place down exactly that'll, you know, be in the right area that things won't tip over. But, you know, small nuances of using this type of uh, program. And then let's see my table mate. They are the contingency planner, which is this teal color. Let's grab them, drop them over in Atlanta as well. And if you ever do knock your guy over, just pick them up and it'll stand them back up. Next, choose the difficulty that you want to do. Well, last time we played it, four epidemics pretty much did us in. So we'll just go ahead and pick that for this demo as well. So clicking four epidemics, we'll draw out four epidemics into the decks over here. You can then give it an additional shuffle just to be safe that everything is there. Once completed, grab each deck stacking it on top of the next deck so that you have an epidemic in each quarter of the deck. Once ready, grab the deck and put it into the pile here and then select finalize. 
These cards are now added into the discard pile and everything is ready to go. You're ready to start playing and enjoying the cooperative game Pandemic. So on your turn, I guess I'll go ahead and go first. Um, so on your turn, you're going to do up to four actions. So let's say, for example, I, you know, did, I don't know, one, two, three, four, and I just moved out here, right? Not, nothing going on out here, but I'm just trying to make my way over there all the same. I guess maybe I could have flown to uh, somewhere else, but it's okay. So I would do that four actions. Then I would take my two cards. Oh, first card, an epidemic. Look at that. Not planned, not scripted, I promise. Uh, my video editing is not good enough to make that happen. So anyway, here's some manual things that you're gonna need to do on your own. Move the, epi the infection marker as indicated. And if there's an outbreak, you would also move those outbreak markers as indicated. Next, draw the bottom card. So to do that, what you wanna do is you wanna click and hold the entire deck. Right. So now that you've got a grab of the full deck on your hand, I kind of shuffled it there by shaking it around, but that's OK. Next, you want to hit your alt and then your T for tango key. What that'll do is that'll drop the bottom card from the deck as indicated here. So draw the bottom card from the infection deck. Right. So grabbing the deck, holding alt and pressing T will drop the bottom card from the deck. Then grab it, flip it and then infect it. Now you'll notice also Osaka being the card that was drawn into this discard pile is now highlighted as indicated here. So let's grab the red cubes and then drop three of them over here into Osaka. Just like so. Let's go ahead and place the deck back where it belongs and it's got nice snap into place um, scripting as well. And then uh, intensify I need to grab these cards, shuffle them, and then drop them on top here. This epidemic has now just been resolved. Now I can pick my second card. San Francisco, I'm just gonna drop that into my hand. Once you've selected your epidemic, now you have to select your infection. Okay, Johannesburg. Oh, now we've got a... Uh, a double outbreak so i would put a token here but i can't so i would put one here and there was an outbreak so i would move the marker up one next i would put one here but i can't so i would drop one here and again here and then move the outbreak marker up a second time and then i've resolved the two that is required for my turn i've drawn my two cards and then I've done my four actions, draw my two cards, and then I infected the cities as indicated. And now the next player would then take their turn. Unfortunately, there was a small error. They got disconnected. No worries. That's actually going to do it for this video anyhow, but you're going to have to control um, placing the diseases. Um, when you use a card, go ahead and just add it into the discard deck as required. And that's it, guys. So really one of the main nuances that I want to kind of just point out again, if you're not familiar with all the navigating of Tabletop Sim, again, when needing to grab the bottom card for um, an epidemic, click and hold, press Alt-T, that'll drop the bottom card, and then just set the deck back where it belongs. So anyway, guys, that'll do it for this one. If you have any questions specific to this version of Pandemic on Tabletop Simulator, please leave a comment below. I'm happy to answer them for you. If you've enjoyed the content, appreciate the support. And if you uh, want to leave a like and subscribe, uh, great. Um, I guess until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching.